Right, an absolute engineering marvel there that has been dedicated to the nation by the Prime Minister. Joining us on the phone line is my colleague Abhishek to get us more information on this. Abhishek, this is the Mumbai Trans Harbour Link or Atal Setu, of course, being touted as the longest sea bridge in India. In fact, it was Prime Minister Modi himself who had laid the foundation of this bridge way back in 2016 and it has now come a full circle with him inaugurating it this year. Help us understand how much of a relief will this bring to the people of Mumbai? It definitely, it's a good good news. In fact, I mean, it's a big relief for the Mumbaikas who were eagerly waiting for this important longest sea bridge to be inaugurated. And, you know, it will be cutting the time in the peak hours. If you want to travel from South Mumbai to Navi Mumbai, in the peak hours, it takes you around one and a half hours to two hours to travel from one end to another end. But because of this 22-kilometer long bridge, it will cut across your time to just 15 to 20 minutes. So that is a huge sort of relief to those Mumbai girls who are traveling from one end, that is South Mumbai to Navi Mumbai, or from Navi Mumbai to South Mumbai. In fact, what has also been believed and also claimed by Maharashtra government that per kilometer toll is the cheapest on this bridge. That is around 250 for single journey and 500 for return journey. That is something which has been claimed by the Maharashtra government. In fact, the uh, entire bridge, uh, over more than 16 kilometers, is on the sea. That is what which makes is unique. And definitely, as you also pointed out, it's an engineering marvel. But at the same time, I also like to bring to the uh, criticism and opposition politics that has been played over this bridge. You know, constant delayed inauguration. That kind of allegation was leveled by the opposition Mahavi Kasagadi, and we have seen taking the lead by Aditya Thakre, and he was constantly attacking Breitna Shinde, in fact, the triple engine government for delaying its inauguration because of the BVIP's date are not being available. Again, today in the morning, similar a statement was issued or given by Sanjay Raut of the Sena of Uddha Balasar Thakre that, you know, the current dispensation was waiting for uh, the uh, elections to come to near. That's the reason today Prime Minister Modi is in the city of Mumbai and inaugurating this uh, much-awaited longest sea bridge for Mumbaikers. Definitely politics apart, but uh, uh, it's a huge, huge relief for Mumbaikers. And again, I would like to point out that, you know, definitely cutting the time to just 15 to 20 minutes for traveling from South Mumbai to Navi Mumbai is definitely a big sort of a relief <clears throat> at the peak hours. And both are the major hubs. Remember, South Mumbai and also the Navi Mumbai, which is the metropolitan region, which is currently developing and an important uh, international airport coming in Navi Mumbai. That will be a major connector from Navi Mumbai to the international airport in Mumbai and also several other infrastructure projects and uh, Affordable housing projects are being planned across the city in Navi Mumbai. So definitely, uh, as we see more of a conjunction in Mumbai, people are going across the metropolitan city to reside over there and work in Mumbai. So definitely, this is a bridge that was most awaited. And most of the Mumbai girls who are traveling on this route will be using it from tomorrow onwards. And it will be a huge sigh of relief, especially in the peak hours. And these kinds of infrastructure projects, you know, one of this, and definitely people are also eagerly waiting for the coastal road to be inaugurated soon, which has been planned also in few months, uh, the first phase of it, and also the underground metro, which the Mumbaikas are eagerly awaiting to be completed, at least the first phase, so that they can use it. So definitely, politics apart, but a big day for Mumbai, a good news for Mumbai, and for Mumbaikas that finally... Atal Setu, which is Mumbai's Trans Harbour Link, will is inaugurated now and will be for the use of Mumbai girls, and that will help them beat the traffic in the peak hours and reduce the time from one and a half hours to two hours to just 15 to 20 minutes of the travel. That too, what has been claimed by Maharashtra government, that it is per right. kilometer cheapest toll charges applied to the tolls or to the bridge for Mumbai girls. Right. Back to you. Right, Abhishek, you were talking about a lot of politics also being played, but the fact of the matter is that this will be a major relief to the residents of Mumbai, not just Mumbai, people passing through this particular area 
who will be going towards the southern side of the country as well. Abhishek, also help us understand one small little controversy that has also erupted about the toll taxes. Now, uh, there, of course, is a toll of 250 rupees one way and two way, I believe, is 500 rupees. And a lot of people are saying that this is very high. Yes, the project is good. It will bring a lot of relief, but not a lot of people will be able to afford this uh, toll tax, which they are calling very high. Basically, if you want to understand, see, uh, at the time of the cabinet meeting when this decision was taken place, you know, uh, the, at the time of the cabinet meeting, there were several proposals uh, to keep the toll one way of 350 to 500. Now that has been reduced to minimal of 250. That's what I pointed out because the Maharashtra government is claiming that, you know, for a 22-kilometer uh, bridge, longest sea bridge, and if you look at the kilometer, that is 22. This is the uh, per kilometer lowest charge, toll charges. And they also claim that, you know, uh, the parameters to decide a toll charge per kilometer is being used as per the national, uh, um, uh, as per the policy of the national roads that has been decided. So definitely, uh, 500 is definitely a huge amount. Uh, but at the same time, what is being claimed that you know you will be saving a fuel amount to rupees 500 when you travel on peak hours. So when we spoke to one of the ministers, he was uh, narrating that you know uh, when you spend an amount, on the contrary, you are also saving a huge fuel uh, amounting to around 500 rupees. So definitely there are claims versus counter claims, but uh, uh, what is being claimed by the Maharashtra government is definitely is that you know it's the lowest. But opposition, specifically Aditya Thakre, has an analogy that, you know, we are already paying taxes to the BMC, to the respective state government. So that toll should be free of cost. So politics is there, definitely. But the charges which has been leveled currently on toll, that is 250 and 500 for return journey, is something that has been claimed by the government, which is the cheapest across the toll right. in the country. So... We will have to wait. How do the people react? Right, Abhishek. Uh, this is, of that. course, the defense that is coming in from the government. I appreciate you joining us on the broadcast with all those details. That is my colleague Abhishek who is getting us all the details about this engineering marvel that has now been gifted to the nation. Of course, uh, this will reduce the travel time from 2 hours to 15 to 20 minutes. That's a massive, massive uh, achievement infrastructurally as well. And this will again bring a lot of relief to the people of Mumbai. In fact, this has been constructed at a total cost of 17,800 crores. It's a 21.8 kilometer long sea bridge, 16.5 kilometers of which cross crosses right across the sea. So again, this is connecting two major points of Mumbai. And one issue again that has been brought up by the opposition is the delay in the inauguration and also the toll charges that have been kept at 250 rupees one way. But again, the government continues to say that this is something that is one of the lowest toll charges per kilometer anywhere in the country. So that is the defense coming in right now. But the fact of the matter is that this is an engineering marvel, a six-lane sea link in Mumbai. Everyone was talking about the Bandra Valley sea link and the bridge, but this again is yet another engineering marvel in the city of Mumbai.